Hi there, it's Davidus, Senior Product Expert, and today we will be talking about the Early Access Miro integration. In this video, we will showcase how to set up the integration and a use case for your projects. We have set up a board, ideas for the project, that will be the showcase for this video. Now, we've gone through and set up an automation that when all the cards will be coming in through Miro, they will automatically have a tag Miro import so we can follow the progress of those cards in other boards. To start the integration, let's go into Miro first. In here, let's go to more apps and type in Fabro in the search. Allow the permissions. And we have the integration set up from Miro side. Now let's go back to Fabro. In here, we'll have to go to the same board that we want to set up into the options menu, select Miro and allow Miro to access this board. After turning this on, we go back to Miro one more time. And here we simply sign in to Fabro. Providing the authorization. and the integration is complete. Now with the early access, you're only able to convert from Miro to Fabro, but in the future releases, you'll also be able to convert cards from Fabro into Miro. The current integration works that you can convert app cards, shapes, text, and sticky notes to Fabro. Here we have example of multiple sticky notes that I'll select all of them. And you can see the integration on the left side is setting up. Now we can choose the board to which we have just connected. We can choose the status in which we want the cards to be converted in Favro and also how the cards should be read from Miro into Favro. We have multiple options. Let's choose from left to right, top to bottom. And if we have more than one organization, we can select the option here at the bottom. Now that everything is set, we simply press Convert to Favro Cards. When the conversion is complete, the items in Miro become app cards, which you cannot edit. So be informed that the information that you might have on those items may disappear. What you can do for comments, you can detach them from the items in Miro and attach them after the conversion. Let's go and take a look how all of this looks in Fabro. And here we go. We have the sticky notes converted into Fabro cards. We can even set up the same structure. And from here, add our tasks into our backlogs or into our workflows where the team can start working on the tasks. With the help with the relations column, we can track the progress when the teams are moving them through their workflow. And also with the help with the advanced progress management, we can see the overall progress for the projects. And that was it about the early access Miro integration. I hope this was helpful. And as always, enjoy using Favro.